we go. Howdy, folks, and welcome to the Real American Streaming Experience. I'm your host, Butch Hagersmith, and I'm a real American. In my constant efforts to bring this great nation together, every week I get on every single kind of social media I can and try to celebrate stuff that we can all enjoy. Got a great streaming experience for you tonight. We got some uh, word games we're going to play. We got a couple of new poems, a couple of new songs. Had some nice times kind of planned for you. But first, of course, we got to do our vocal warm ups. Let's head on up to the close up. I love this part. Hey, hey, there I am. One hand. You can sing along if you know the words at home. One hand. One hand, two ducks. One hand, two ducks, three squawking geese. One hand, two ducks, three squawking geese, four corpulent porpoises. One hand, two ducks, three squawking geese, four corpulent porpoises, five limerick oysters. One hand, two ducks, three squawking geese, four corpulent porpoises, five limerick oysters, six pairs of Don Alfonso's tweezers. One hand, two ducks, three squawking geese, four corpulent porpoises, five limerick oysters, six pairs of Don Alfonso's tweezers. 7,000 Macedonian warriors in full battle array, eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt, nine apathetic, diabetic, sympathetic old men on roller skates with a marked propensity for procrastination and sloth. All right, that's all the sounds. Let's do some specific ones. Let's do fricatives. Uh, let's see. Amidst the mists of fiercest frosts, with barest wrists of stoutest boasts, he thrusts his fists against the post and still insists he sees the ghost. Oh, what a to-do to die today, in a minute or two to two, a thing distinctly hard to say, but harder still to do, for they'll beat a tattoo at twenty to two, at twenty to two, ah, that's why we warm up, a rat-a-tat-tat, a tat-a-tattoo, and the dragon will come when it hears a drum, at a minute or two to two today, at a minute or two to two. Yay, not sequently back, we're almost done with the warm-ups, now just gotta do a couple red leather, yellow leather toy boats. Red leather, yellow leather, 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 toy boat, 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 eleven benelifin elephants, 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 and finally Hey, say hi to the Jarek for me. I miss him all the way up in Poland. I hope he had a safe trip back home. I never got to talk to him again after he really got settled, so thank you so much for saying hi. How you doing? You all right? I'm all warmed up. Let me do one more of these. <laughs> Might be singing later. <laughs> all right. How you doing? Let's see. We got Rose Hunter in the room. Welcome. Thanks for coming to the party. We got Nancy Quintley. How was your week? Things going all right? I'll tell you, uh, I on Sunday, I did my very first no makeup Johnny Millwater stream, and I was nervous as all get out. But it was still a pretty good stream, and I felt good about it. And then I got a big show. Uh, Johnny's got a big show tomorrow uh, at the Comedy Zone. Uh, but other than that, it's been a nice week. Just been hanging around, taking care of the nephews and nieces. You know what I mean? Uh, doing a little bit of cooking, a little bit of cleaning. Nothing too exciting. Let's see. Oh, it has been a week? Oh, my word. Will you tell me what's going on with you? Because I know you were struggling last Wednesday, too. They were giving you the business. Can you give me, like, a short overview of what you're going through? I'm going to stall for a good minute, so you've got time to type it up. Rose Hunter, you're a posture check. That's a good one. No, wait I forgot. I am in a recliner. I don't know if I ever told you guys this. I figured out how to re, re, rig a lazy bar recliner with a green screen so that I could just sit in my comfort chair and entertain the nice people. That was always my dream. But how's your week going? Let's see. Chaos. Well, that's the universe. You can't fight it. you got to love to embrace the chaos. Embrace the chaos. Best advice I ever got. Whoop, uh oh, 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 that doesn't even make sense. I was third to deal with. What kind of chaos? Is it work chaos? Is it home chaos? Is it a problem with the dogs? I know you got one dog, one cat, unless I'm mistaken. One dog, one cat, one cake. That's what I remember. I don't know if that's the case. Come on, tell me something. I'm really interested. Unless you don't want to talk about it, you can just say, I don't want to talk about it. That's fine too. I got lots of stuff for entertaining. I just like to know what's going on with you. Oh, here it comes. Everything from the outreach van battery dying, oh no, in the winter, and stranding me to a family friend falling down the stairs and having COVID at the same time. Oh no, could be worse. Could fall down an elevator with AIDS. Escalator, that's what I was going for. They're both funny and both not. I'm so sorry your friend's having problems. Uh, I sure hope that they heal up. 
Hope their mask didn't fall off as they were falling. Uh, again, I say these jokes uh, hoping that they're okay. Uh, please tell me everybody's okay. That's a whole range of things, all right. But the outreach van battery died? That's ridiculous. Who, if you're the outreach, who do you call for help? When the thing breaks down, do you call AAA? Do the good folks at I help you? Because they do good work. Flubulous is here, oh my gosh. My goodness gracious, Flubulous, this is your very first evening stream in the full makeup. I'm so glad you're here. Let me introduce you. Rose Hunter, she's about seven, she's cool. Uh, over there is, uh, is non sequently. She's a grown up lady from all the way up in Connecticut, and she's awesome. And that's it, we have got ourselves a party going now. Glad to see you, Flubulous. My dad came out and gave me a jump. Spoken like a real American. Who needs AAA when dad is within a phone call away? You know, there's a lot of folks who say you should never move so far away that you can't see the smoke from your parents' chimney. And that's a fact. Well, I'm glad somebody was here to take care of you. It must be cold up there right now. And I know, a flubulous, you're in Iowa. Iowa, right? That's cold. It don't get colder than Iowa. That's the closest I ever come to freezing to death driving through Iowa during the winter one time. Oh, man. How you holding up? You got a ton of snow up to here? What you dealing with? Indeed. Mm-hmm, I speak the truth. I don't have a choice. The lying part of my brain don't work no more. Well, glad your dad was there to save you. Still sounds like a whole lot more trouble. Also having COVID, you didn't get, now when you said also having COVID, was that your friend who fell down the stairs who had COVID? Or do you have COVID? Did you find the pull your lotto ticket? Did your draft number come up? I ain't got the COVID yet, but that's because I don't talk to people face to face. I was 12 degrees when the battery died. Oh, just right when in relation to Kevin Bacon, but just wrong when you're stuck without air conditioning and heat. Oh, that was just you or did you have some folks there with you? That sounds scary. When he went to the hospital, they find out he also had COVID. Well, there you go. It's a COVID injury, he fell down the stairs due to COVID. I believe that's how it works. I really have no idea. I'm just kidding. I'm not trying to save to spread information. Misinformation. I'm trying to spread information, not misinformation. Whew, glad it's not you. You still gotten through? You gotten the COVID yet? How about you, Flubulous? I'm still beating it. My theory is that Twitch people don't have as many uh, pre existing conditions to catch it, such as interacting with people in person all the time. I was really all by myself doing a Narcan industry. Oh, man. Now, a Narcan, probably Narcanon distribution, like flowers, uh, perhaps pamphlets, uh, perhaps they're like just cans that say Nar on them. Like, hey, you want some Nar? I got a can of Nar. I don't know what a Narcan is. I want to know what a Nar. Let me rephrase that. Say, what's a Narcan? All by myself. Whew, that's scary. That's scary breaking down by yourself. I got a whole extra set of clothes in the back of my truck in case I break down. My mind is too much in work. No, I understand. If I'm trying to interrupt you, if you just want to sit back and lurk, that's totally cool. I'm just so happy to be engaged in the cat. Flubulous, thank you for being here. Flubulous, for those of you who follow people, Flubulous is also a, a top-notch gaming streamer out of Iowa. Very, very funny lady. I suggest you follow her if you enjoy such things. Narcan for reversing opioid overdoses. Narcan, of course. Now, oh my God, now it got worse. So you're on your way to save somebody's life and you couldn't do it because the battery died. Wow, that is a rough week. Man, man, you're all right. You know that? That's a hell of a burden to carry for somebody out of the goodness of your heart just because you are devoted your life to helping people. That is a hell of a burden to carry. Oh, did they survive? Did the person who needs it? Ah, not at all, Flavio, you're the best. It's true, you should follow me if you don't. Oh, Narcan, Did, were you able to help? But, uh, I suppose, you can't even tell me, can you? That's, it's against the law if you didn't tell me these things. Forget, trying to save people, Narcan, so they can save other people's lives, gotcha. They have the Narcan box in case there's an emergency and they're in a uh, Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction, get the shot situation. Not to make light of a very real tragedy. Uh, what you feel like I kind of did, so I'm gonna retract that. Hey, let's spin the wheel. Good for you. I'm proud of you for helping people. Oh, I can't wait to see what it is. Been updated the wheel. Got an even chance for everything now. Got 15, 16 categories. Last week we added riddles because Charlotte. 
uh, our Rose Hunter 2022 really wanted to see riddles. All right, let's go to Shakespeare Corner. I love the works of William Shakespeare. I just watched As You Like It on uh, the HBO Max. Uh, that stars the Jessica Chastain. Uh, she plays a lady who dresses up as a fella and frankly is not convincing because uh, she's very much a lady. I don't know if you've seen the Jessica Chastain or perhaps you've seen the Dallas Bryce Howard, which is the same as seeing the Jessica Chastain. Very good actress, but very, very feminine. Anywho, uh, there's only one part that really stuck out with me. They got the Kevin Klein. You can't go wrong with the Kevin Klein. So uh, he gave a little speech about the, the stages of man. So, you know, all the world's a stage and all that. So I thought I'd give you that. Really? Too much intro? All right, let's go to work. Uh, forgive me, i got to look down at the page. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. His acts be in seven ages. At first, the infant mewling and puking in the nurse's arms, and then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail, unwilling to school, and then the lover, sign like furnace with a woeful ballad made to his mistress's eyebrow. Then a soldier, full of strange oaths, and bearded like the pard, jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. And then the justice, in fair round belly with good cape and lined with eyes severe and a beard of formal cut, full of wise saws and modern instances, and so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon, sounds comfy, with spectacles on nose and pouch on side, his youthful hose well saved, a world too wide for his shrunk shank, and his big manly voice turned against, turned again towards childish treble, pipes and whistles in a sound, last scene of all. That ends this strange, eventful history, is second childishness and mere oblivion, sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. <laughs> yeah, we're all gonna die. So, uh, let's go on back there. That's, yeah, we got wheel, a fancy wheel. That's right, we updated it. Thanks for noticing. I finally got, I changed all the resolution of everything, so I shouldn't be skipping so much. I don't think I'm skipping at all. You still with us, Flubulous? You still hanging in there? We're, uh, it's true. It's, I, I, it's not Shakespeare. He didn't put that in. I'm just keeping you updated. It's just uh, something to hold on to every time you keep worrying about the troublesome stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was fun. You're all right. All right. Whoop. Thank you very much. I've been working really, really hard on it to make it look good. Welcome to the melting pot, Flubulous. I'm so glad you're here. I got my proper 3D. I got a nice camera. I got this weird adjustment, so every time I want to say something evil, I can say something evil like that. Isn't that fun? Oh, thank you. Look at all that. Look at all that's fun. That is fun. My favorite modern Shakespeare interpretation. Thus far, I haven't seen the new Denzel Washington because I don't got the Apple Plus and I ain't got Skeeter to uh, download it for me off the internet so illegally. He knows like, like black market places where he can get Shakespeare stuff off the internet. Uh, but I, I really like the, uh, let's see, I like, I like the Scottish play. I'm a big fan of Macbeth and the Patrick Stewart, who you may know from uh, being a brilliant, brilliant Shakespearean actor for dozens of years and also Star Trek, The Next Generation, X-Men. Uh, he led, uh, after all that, like uh, about 5, 6, 7, 10, 15, 20 years ago, after that, he did a version uh, where they did Macbeth as sort of a Russian Stalinist thing. I liked the way it looked, and of course the performance by, by Patrick Stewart was fantastic, so that's fantastic. And also Hamlet, uh, led by David Tennant, is extraordinary. That one really got me where it's pure. So if you can find Hamlet, I think they're both made by the BBC, Hamlet with David Tennant or Macbeth, uh, and also, David, uh, the Hamlet with David Tennant also has Patrick Stewart playing both the Claudius and uh, Hamlet's father, who I believe is named Hamlet. So, check that out. It's worth watching. What's your favorite Shakespearean interpretation? 
If you were talking before about the, uh, the, the comedy with the Denzel Washington and the uh, Josh Whedon. Ew. Ew. Thoughts on the 1996 Romeo and Juliet? Well, let me tell you right now, I thought it was wonderful. Just because they're good looking doesn't mean that's not a good show. Visually interesting, the camera was constantly moving, kept things flowing, didn't mess with the language. I thought it was very moving and iconic and it holds up to this day. I watched it not six months ago. It's best, the one from the 70s didn't hold up too well. Uh, but that one, man, I like the flash. I like all the flashy flash and the newscasters. It's fun, I liked it, I liked it. That's just me. You guys like anything weird? I just saw as you like it, like I said, pretty good, but hard to believe Jessica Chastain's a woman, so I kind of faded in and out. I just watched Nightmare Alley. That's not Shakespeare, but what the hell, since we're here. Nightmare Alley starring the Bradley Cooper and the Willem Dafoe and uh, other weird, oh, if you like weird, you ought to check out the Nightmare Alley. It's directed by the Guillermo del Toro, who directed Hellboy and Hellboy 2 and various other films that are also quite good. Anywho, in Nightmare Alley, there's a fella played by Brad Cooper who decides he wants to become a carny and he joins a weird traveling circus and his life quickly dissipates and falls apart. It's fun to watch. Oh yeah, you know Del, you know what I'm talking about, Guillermo del Toro. It just came out onto Hulu and on HBO Max just yesterday. And no, I'm not being paid to say that. I'm just telling you, because of care. It's quite good. Fantastic acting. It's got the, oh, Pan's Labyrinth. That was the one I was forgetting. Es muy bueno. Me gusta. Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah, yeah, that's a good movie right there. Also like them, uh, the Lord of the Rings movies. I know he wasn't involved with those, but they remind me of him. He does good work. The Orphanage. I haven't seen The Orphanage. That sounds scary. Ooh, that sounds real scary. Is that where The Orphan is from? It's very, very possible. I've seen The Orphan. Big Lord of the Rings fan, unfortunately. Well, that's all right. Not everybody has the time or inclination to smoke marijuana. And I understand that. If you don't like Lord of the Rings, give it time. Someday you'll be in your 50s, your 60s, you throw your back out, you take pills, all of a sudden, Lord of the Rings makes sense. Happened to me with professional wrestling. Give it time. It's been hanging around for 100 years because there's something special going on there. You just gotta be in the right mind. Now tell me about uh, Orphanage. Orphanage, it sounds like an amazing movie. It sounds to me like there's a bunch of children. Tell me how wrong I am. There's a bunch of children who have no parents. And then there's a bunch of monsters and Carol Burnett is there. And she's mean to all the kids and they sing songs. And then uh, one of them breaks away and gets into a rich guy's house and Lex Luthor lives there. And he becomes the president and she sings, uh, Sun will come up tomorrow. Is that the orphanage? I think I've seen that one. One orphan, Nidge, and her life. Ah. How long a time period are we talking? Are we talking 15, 20 years? Oh, so Annie, that's the one. That's the one. I knew there was an orphanage in it. I get confused sometimes. That's it. Yeah, the sun will come out. To my, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful you guys showed up. This is the best stream I ever had in my whole life. I'm so happy tonight to spend the wheel, be able to have a conversation. This is the best. That's what I'm grateful for. I don't know what you guys are grateful for. Yeah. Grateful I don't live in Iowa right now. My God, it's got to be cold up there. Oh, no, it's true, though. It's true. It's nice. And I'm great. I really appreciate you sent me some pictures not too long ago. And I really appreciate you doing that nonsequently. I like to be able to picture people in my head when I talk to them. Like Flubulous, I follow her on Twitch, so I see her all the time. So I can picture her just like that. But I appreciated you taking the time to do that. That part it looked amazing. Really did. I'm glad to see somebody else celebrating America for the right reasons. Grateful I didn't have a therapy appointment on Monday? I am too. I am glad friends like you that can give me a giggle in a dark time. That's what I'm all about. I'm here to give you the hug and the giggle that you need. Uh, they're all dark times, I think. And uh, I'm here to help you any way I can. Did work hard on that party. It was really cool. I can't help but grin at those pictures. I liked it a lot. Great. I'm grateful you have a therapy. I gotta get me some therapy. 
you know, I quit going to therapy during the uh, during the pandemic because uh, all they wanted to do was this kind of foolishness, this internet that we're doing now. Uh, it just never felt right to me. But still, I'm getting crazier. You guys feel like you're getting crazier? Whole world's getting a little bit crazier? I don't mean to get all joker on you, but I certainly get that in feeling, don't you? Therapy is great. But it's been a while. You know, the medication's still flowing. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I need to face-to-face. -face. I never found my match. The last person I went to just wanted to talk about stand-up comedy the whole time. And that's all anybody ever wants to talk about. Ah, well, crazier. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Medication, that's for sure. Well, come on down. Come on down to Columbia. I got extras. I'm just kidding. That's probably used against me in a court of law at some point. Wish I hadn't said it. Oh, yeah, it's not my real face. Woo! <laughs> This is nice. Let's spin the wheel. <laughs> Don't get in trouble for drug trafficking, but valid point, and I thank you. Song, oh boy, oh boy. Let's head on down to the performance stage now. You guys got any requests? Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty cool, right? Purple, right? Oh, check this out. You'll love this flubulous. Oh, oh nine sequently. Why, yeah, I made a purple rather than blue. It was a little bit too blue before, but I got hooked up to a button. Watch. All right, light goes out. <laughs> oh, wrong button. Right, light goes out. Light goes on. Huh? Light goes out. Light goes on. <laughs> Woo! Who's got a whole bunch of time on his hand? Butch does. Well, let's sing us a song. What do you say? Oh, here's a good one. Do, 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 do. This one is called Everyone is Gay by Great Big World. If you're not familiar with the folks at Great Big World, you should check them out. They do good work. This is a song I'm hoping that uh, my little ones are listening to. If you're gay, then you're gay. Don't pretend that you're straight. You can be who you are any day of the week. You are unlike the others, so strong and unique. We're all with you. If you're straight, well, that's great. You can help procreate and make gay little babies for the whole human race. Make a world we can live in where the love, where the one that you love's not an issue. Cause we're all somewhere in the middle. We're all just looking for love to change the world. Ah, 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 what if the world stops spinning tomorrow? We can't keep running away from who we are. Ah, 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 if you're gay, then you're gay. If you're straight, well, that's great. If you fall in between, that's the best way to be. You've got so many options. Every fish in the sea wants to kiss you. Mwah! Ah, cause we're all somewhere in the middle. We're all just looking for love to change the world. Ah, ah, ah. We can't keep, what if the world steeps spinning tomorrow? We can't keep running away from who we are. Ah, ah. Everyone is gay. Hooray! I like that song. That's by the Great Big World. Great. Are you familiar with the Great Big World? They do solid work. My applause button is not work. Oh, there it goes. If your phone hates you, do hit you. Oh, no. That, did, that, what, what do hit you? Oh, I missed a whole bunch of fun chat while I was singing my tune. Yay for you guys talking to each other. Don't get in trouble for drug trafficking. Good advice. Look at your door, hickeys. Do hickeys. Do hickeys. My phone hates me. That's a great song. You know that song? Oh, that makes me happy. I didn't think, I try to share one that you haven't heard every week. Yeah, you know, the B-sides. Oh, that's nice. That's nice to see. Look at all them fluffy legs, lamp, by person that speaks to me on a soul level. Right on. Go get them, sister. Great Big World. That's right. Uh, they're called Great Big World. 
And the next time a song comes up, I'm going to do another one of theirs that I like a whole lot. It's called Cheer Up. It helps me a whole bunch during depression. What the hell is do it right now? This <laughs> ain't no boss around here. The wheel don't tell me what to do. The wheel works for me. This song is Cheer Up by Great Big World. It's a family favorite, and it's a little tricky to sing, so forgive me if I mess up the high notes. Cheer up, nothing really matters when you look up in the outer space. It's a great big world and there's no need to cry. Cheer up, we're all interconnected to the reaches of the galaxy. And my best friend says he came from the sky. He traveled to the earth upon a big spaceship. It's hard for him to hide behind those eyes. Cheer up. The atoms in your body are as old as every dinosaur. You're a special part of one big grand design. Cheer up. We're all in this together to discover what we're living for. Thirteen billion years and there's still time. Every night I wish upon a star so bright, waiting for the others to arrive. Cheer up, cause nothing really matters when you look up in the outer space. It's a great big world and there's no need to cry. Thirteen billion years and there's still time. <laughs> That's a great big world, they do fine work. Right, isn't that great? I love that song. Oh, the applause button's not working. Your loss. All right, then. <laughs> I'll take the laughter. <laughs> Weird. Never can tell what's going to go on with that. Let's head on back to the chat. How's everybody doing? I miss anybody? Anybody come in? That interconnected to the reaches of the galaxy. Isn't that nice? Iambic pentameter just rolls off the tongue. That's fun to say. Thank you very much, Nancy Quintley, for that kind applause. And thank you, Flubulous, for your various uh, emotai. I enjoy your emotai. Nobody has more interest in emotai than you do. Oh, I need some ice cream, too. Try not to keep it in the house because I keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I have a problem. I can't eat some ice cream. I got to eat all the ice cream. It sounds like a joke, but it's a problem. I'm a binge eater. Same thing when you get me a big old bag of Reese's peanut butter cups. Get a bag of Reese's peanut butter cups. I wake up with that little pile. You know the shame pile of wrappers. Just, just, oh, oh, makes me sad. I eat too much. I miss ice cream though. Man, do I love ice cream. Let's spin the wheel. Thanks for hanging in with me, folks. This is great. Need a Ooh, riddles. All right. Let's go down to riddles. Okay, this one's trickier. We got to go on a talk show desk. Hi, everybody. Now, check this out. This was just, this is by request. All right, turn off the flag. Good. Nice, right? Huh? Nice. But I know what you're thinking. Riddles. Boom, now we're ready to ask riddles. I'm only gonna ask one, and whoever answers it first, hooray for you. <laughs> That's right, boom. <laughs> it's the attention to detail that keeps all of you, come, both of you, coming back. All right, let's do our first riddle. All right, riddles. I got a file right over here. If I had one of them wheels, it'd be going right now. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. What can you break, even if you never pick it up or touch it? They ask the question, what can you break, even if you never pick it up or touch it? What can you break, even a sweat, a heart, those are both excellent. That's not the answer I was going for, but both of those are better. Riddles are dumb in that regard because a heart and a sweat are both absolutely perfect. That's a legitimate answer. Not the one they were looking for, but both correct. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to call that a tie. 
Uh, the answer they were looking for was a promise. I like yours better. I like yours better. It's a little bit more poetic. Riddle time was fun. Bring the camera back out. No, the flag. The flag. Hey, hey, check this out. If we get wisdom later, yeah. Yeah. Nice, right? That's for wisdom. We'll use that later. Oh, okay. It was a promise we were looking for, but honest to goodness, a heart and a sweat are both absolutely perfect. Although I've broken a lot more hearts than I have sweats, I'll tell you that. Let's spin the wheel. Wisdom, well that works out just perfect. You know what I think I ought to do? Let's go to the wisdom corner. Bring out the wisdom. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, right? All right, now I see. Uh, last time I was doing mostly Alan Watts. I'm a big fan of Alan Watts and his wisdom. But uh, in recent weeks, I decided to get myself on some Jack Cornfield. Jack Cornfield is a Buddhist author and former monk and uh, just an overall swell fella from what I can tell, although I'm sure he'll be canceled for something shortly. But he said a lot of very, very intelligent things uh, about how to live and how to perceive your life. So I'll read you two or three of those, because what the heck? We're in the wisdom room. Let's start simple. This is from Jack. He said, this life is a test. It's only a test. If this had been an actual life, you would have received further instructions on where to go and what to do. Remember, this life is only a test. There's a lot of folks who think there are uh, instruction, but uh, I don't know. You gotta consider where it's from. I'm gonna give you another one. This one's even better. That's right though. Don't take it too seriously, it's just a ride. As we encounter new experiences with a mindful and wise attention, we discover that one of the three things will happen to our new experience. It will go away, it will stay the same, or it will get more intense. Whatever happens does not really matter. I think that's just a statement about impermanence. Nothing is permanent. Absolutely nothing is permanent. It's good stuff. Hey, here's a true story. I come on back to the flag. Now, I went and saw David Letterman once. Uh, he used to have a TV show. I don't know how young you guys are. David Letterman, and <laughs> uh, I got a seat. When I got seated in the audience, I was way in the back, and uh, I didn't like my seat, so I asked the intern. I says to her, hey, is there any chance I came all the way from Carolina? Is there any chance I can sit a little closer to the stage? And she said, nothing is permanent and then turned around and walked away. And my mind was so blown, uh, I just sat down and ended up in the same seat. But yeah, nothing is permanent. That is an important thing to hold on to. True story. All right, then, let's spin the wheel. Ooh, you've been reading some Buddhist thought. Oh, wow, I like Buddhist thought. Sorry, I wish I had seen that. I would've talked to you some more about it because I'm very interested in such things. Let's spin the wheel. Ask me anything. Oh, this is an exciting part. I am not familiar with Purna Kodrun. I have not read on a Purna Kodrun, but I tell you what, I'm gonna put 60 seconds on the clock. I'm gonna count that question as part of the Ask Me Anything. I have not read in the Purna Kodrun. To be honest, all I've read so far is Alan Watts, Jack Cornfield, and Rumi. You know, uh, a little bit of Confucius every now and then, Tawapu, that kind of thing, uh, but nothing too deep. Uh, my interest in Buddhist thought is just an escape from suffering, just like everybody, you know? Uh, I was just trying to figure out a way to live my life where I could be happier and not be so full of hatred and darkness all the time. And that really helped me out a lot, uh, just finding the right way to look at things. I used to work on cruise ships for a while. And while it sounds very glamorous, most of the time you're in a room with no windows. And I uh, had a lot of time to meditate and try to figure out who I was. And a big part of that was studying Buddhist thought. Uh, not deep dive, I'm certainly no scholar, but just enough to have a basic understanding of it to skew my perception to enjoy the rest of my life a little more, you know what I mean? All right, we got five seconds left. Five seconds left. 
let's take a look. All right. Oh, we got questions. Oh, my goodness gracious. We got a whole bunch of questions. You can't believe how many ask me anythings I've had that should have been called ask me nothings because I got nothing. Now I got six questions. I am so grateful to you. I'm going to call a little close up right here. There we go. That's nice. Let's start simple. Favorite. Oh, what is my interest in Buddha? Stop. Just answered that. Uh, ooh, roomy. Yeah, like a minivan. Favorite color? I like a combination of red and black. It's a nice uh, burgundy right in the middle. Uh, let's see, there's nothing on this set. This set's most of the primary colors. Uh, but yeah, a little bit of the microphone right there. See the microphone right here? See the little slots in between? That's my favorite color. Thanks for asking. What's yours? What do I want for my birthday? Ooh, nobody ever asked me that. Let's see, I could use a new plaid shirt. Uh, maybe one of them ride around lawn mowers. I don't have a lawn, but it'd be fun just to get to the store and stuff. Uh, let's see, mustache wax. Uh, Apple Plus. I'd like somebody to gift me some Apple Plus so I can wash that new uh, Denzel Washington Macbeth. I hear that's pretty good. Uh, other than that, I got most everything I want. Thank you so much for asking. My birthday's in July, by the way, uh, so I'll see you then. I struggle with being okay and impermanence so hard. It is really tricky. The impermanence is supposed to free you it's from worrying about all the foolishness that we're constantly concerned with. And it's not that it doesn't matter. It's just that it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? And to be able to hold on to that will change your whole life. Take a huge weight off of your shoulders. Uh, just make sure you spend time doing what matters. And I believe you are. From the little I've learned about you, you strike me as a woman who's doing what she wants to do and is doing something for the betterment of the world. So I hope, I hope I'm right. Let's see. I'm actually going to a Buddhist temple next weekend to do a little class on the five precepts. Very, very nice. I didn't know there were five. I only thought there were four. I got to update my app. The five precepts. Let's see. Nothing is permanent. Uh, it's the, uh, the, uh, the right way of viewing Right, the right way of thinking. Uh, no false speech. And oh, uh, don't exploit your passions, unless I'm mistaken. Or, or infidelity. Some folks call it infidelity, but I don't know why it's calls it. Uh, don't exploit your passions, which I like even more. Oh, that ought to be great. I never got to sit in on any real life classes. I've just watched stuff online, so I'm 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 excited for it. Let's see, like a many, yeah, I'm funny. Last question, ooh, how dramatic, thank you, Flubulous. Last question, what would you like to say to somebody gifting you free about me panels for your Twitch? I'd be delighted. Any help I could get with my Twitch would be huge, or uh, with my Discovered, my Discord, my, my, my Discord, my extension cord, Discord, there's a thing that you sign on to and you plug it in the wall and then you can white other people who have Twitch. Uh, it's like that cord, it's this cord, it's uh, got a red switch. I need one of them. I could use any help I could get. Thanks for offering. And anything I can do to help you, you let me know. That's so kind. Thank you for the winky emoji. Oh man, that felt good. I don't even have a Discord yet. You could probably snatch it up away from me, but I hope you don't. I just want to be able to keep in touch with the people. I want every stream to be like this one. Two people chatting at the same time. Are you kidding me? Did I win the stream old lottery? This has been so much more fun. Last time it was just me. This is better. You need Discord, Butch. That's what I'm saying. She's going to give me Discord. That lady over there, the flubulous, she said she'd help me out. She'll convince me. Oh, I'm, I'm into it. There's just a lot of typing and reading and writing. And I'm not a big fan of all that Discord. You know what I mean? Uh, Discord. But I, it's not that I'm opposed to the idea. I wish you would. Thank you, Flubulous. We will discuss that. I like that. Man, you guys are all right. Anything I can do for you? Any requests? You got a song you want to hear? You got a favorite poem? I'm almost out of poems I know. So I got to start digging in a little bit deeper with other people. Ooh, we got some more stuff. I can get you in the Discord. Got distracted. Ooh, excited work news. What happened? Good news? Is the battery fixed? Tell me what happened with the exciting work news. At this hour, goodness gracious. Yes, I want poems. I want poems. I want to hear your favorite poems. If it's one you wrote yourself, that's a little different. Never tried it. Willing to try. But now if you have a favorite poem you like reading, please put it in the pile. Right? Like most I got is Shel Silverstein right now. Uh, you know, a little bit of Wordsworth, nothing fancy. So 
Do I want poems? Yes, I do. Yeah, nice. Deviant art is better than selflessness for all. Deviant art is better or leads to selflessness for all. You know, I bet in context that makes a lot of sense. Is deviant, well, I don't know what deviant art is, but selflessness for all. So, oh, oh, there it goes. Okay, well, we got the big news, but non sequently. We're going to get back to it. But first, big news, non sequently at work. Big chunk of paragraph. Can't wait to read it. Here we go. I had submitted a proposal to a church council to use their site, it's a really great place, to do a syringe exchange harm reduction site. And they just emailed me that they give their full approval and I can use their space in whatever way they need. USA, 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 that's fantastic news. A new place to help people. Sometimes all you need is a roof. You know what I mean? Some place to set up so that you can do the good you want to do. That's fantastic news. Hold on. I'm going to give you a little bit. Woo! Hooray for you. Hooray for you and hooray for the people that you're going to get to help. And hooray for that church. That's lovely. That is great news. Now back to DeviantArt. Go to DeviantArt and search selflessness for all. Small for most people. So jazzed. Small is one Personally, I think a lot more gets done when you work with people one-on-one -on -one than if you work through some organization. I think the rich people feel good about giving a check to this guy and to that guy, but the people actually on the ground looking people in the eye when they need help, they're the ones who are doing the real help. That's just my opinion. I don't do the real help, so I don't know. That's actually not small. See? Deviant Art. All right. Is it DeviantArt.com? I'm going to make some stupid faces. DeviantArt.com. This better not be D. Ooh, that's nice. This is good art. I like it. And then uh, we're going to do search and discover. We're going to, oh, I got to go back there because my short term memory is not what it's supposed to be. It's all bigger than it seems. Whoa. Word. Selflessness for all selflessness for all. Now I lack the technology thus far to bring the uh, the screen itself on, so I'm just going to read you what I see. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. It has such titles as one, real or fake, is it him or not? Into one's thoughts, swirls. Nice. All right, I'm going to pick, uh, let's see. I'm going to start with Starry Night because I like a painted by the same name. This is star, oh, well, hold on now, this is a, oh, okay, hold on, I thought it was like a word, piece of word art, where it goes zip, 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 which has been very hard to express uh, via here, but let's take it a shot, hold on now. All right, yeah, that's doable. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very happy to share selflessness for alls. Oh. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. The stars shine so brightly. The chilling breeze in the night sky. I see the river in front of us gleaming back up at us, at the sky. You ask me to get out and take my hand and smile at me. We begin to dance into the moonlight and show me how happy I can be. The night has become so blissful. It's been months since I've felt like this. I want to hold on to every one of these moments and not let them go for life. We talk laying on the car till we fall asleep helplessly. The next thing we know, the sun is warm in our faces. The wonderful night has fallen asleep. The day has become awake. The sun tells you good morning. I watch as you crawl slowly off the car and grumble, knowing you have to go home. I take your hand and tell you I don't want to leave. I don't want to be in that place again. I want for you to take me with you. I want nothing more than to see a white night again. The days pass by. 
and I wonder every day, what is going to happen to me now? When will this nightmare end? I want my knight in shining armor. I want that guy I know I seen. I want that one special person in my life, so everyone can see just how much you mean to me. That's lovely. That's lovely, lovely. I have works all over the internet. <laughs> Sounds dangerous. Let's spin the wheel. Time for a joke. Let's head on down to the performance space. Ladies and gentlemen, Butch Hawker Smith. Yeah. That was supposed to be done before the it opened up. <laughs> right, a joke. All right, then let's tell us a joke. Man goes in. Oh, yay, purple. <laughs> All right. You like purple? Purple you got, my friend. Thanks for taking getting involved. All right, here's a joke. Uh, let's see. Why don't blind people like to skydive? Because it scares the hell out of their dogs. <laughs> Obviously, no dogs are really being hurt. Do you understand? This is entirely not true. <laughs> I, would not, I would not be okay if actual dogs were being thrown out of airplanes. This is all hypothetical, folks. Do the right thing. Don't take your dog skydiving, unless it's a skydiving dog. In the Army, they have trained specialists. They do what they do, and I'm not here to second guess them. Ah, this is going great. I'm having a nice time. What tastes like red paint, but is blue? How intriguing. What tastes like red paint, but is blue? Bloop! <laughs> simplicity! I love simplicity humor. Let's go back. Ladies and gentlemen, Butch Hackers Man. Yay! What's brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> and here's a fellow who just died a couple days ago, an English comedian. Uh, not everybody gets this, but a man walks into a bar one day. He's got a big orange head. He sits down, says to the bartender, give me a drink. Bartender pours him a drink. Bartender says, hey, listen, man, I can't help but notice you got a big orange head. They said, yes, I do, yes. I do. How, how'd you stumble upon having a big orange head? Well, I was walking down the beach one day and I saw a little genie lamp sitting on a, on a, by the water. You know where the water meets the sand? Wherever that's called. Surf? I don't know. I picked it up, rubbed it, genie popped out, gave him three wishes. First wish was for a duck that crapped $10 bills and lived forever. I thought that'd be something, right? Companionship, $10 bills for life. Always something to do. Second wish, I wanted a mansion in the Hamptons and all four Spice Girls from 1992 in their prime to hang out with me in that mansion for 24 hours. And then the third wish, I screwed it up. I wished for a big orange head. That's kind of an anti-joke, like your red-blue paint joke. <laughs> Red-blue, no laugh on that one? No, I can't even fake it? All right, then, let's spin the wheel. Let's see who was next. More Shakespeare. I can't believe that. Nobody liked the Shakespeare in the front. All right, I'll go back because I like it. This is from the Scottish play. She should have died hereafter. There would have been time for such a word tomorrow. And tomorrow. And tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day, 
and to the last syllable of recorded time. All our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life is a walking shadow. Tis a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It's a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. <laughs> That's from Macbeth. It's after his wife died. All right, let's head on back. How's everybody doing? You all right? I'm having a nice time. Oh, thank you very much for the applause. Thank you, Flubulous. That feels good. That feels good every single time. Thanks a lot. Yeah, head on back. Whoop, there it is. <laughs> Looks like red paint. Tastes like red paint, but is blue. Blue paint. I still enjoy that. It is a fantastic night. We're having a hell of a time, aren't we? I'm having a nice time. Having a full evening of entertainment. Uh, well, let's spin the wheel again. We haven't got the video game yet. I was hoping we could play a little video game since we got some people. Oh, you're great. Thanks, Flubulous. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Need more like it. Poem. All right, then. We did your poem, but let's do another one. I like poetry. Head on out to the poetry corner now. Now I'm gonna do Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout. Unless you heard that one. Man, it's hard to keep track of who's listening to what. I like poems, but I know so many. All right, I'm gonna do Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout by the great Shel Silverstein. And if you don't like that one, well then I can't help you because it don't get better. I first heard this, uh, uh, made a recording by Tori Amos. I don't know if you're familiar with her, her work, uh, but I love her and especially her early stuff before I couldn't tell what she was talking about anymore. And she has a wonderful recording of this that you should listen to when you're done listening to me. <clears throat> Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. She'd scour the pots and scrub the pans, can to the yams and spice the hams. And though her daddy would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings Coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown bananas, rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese that filled the can and covered the floor, cracked the window and locked the door with bacon rinds, chicken bones, drippy ends of ice cream cones, prune pits, peach pits, orange peel, gluppy glumps of cold oatmeal, pizza crust and wither greens, and soggy beans and tangerines, and crust of black burnt buttered toast and gristly ends of beefy roasts. The garbage rolled on down the hall. It raised the roof. It broke the wall. I mean, greasy napkins, cookie crumbs, globs of gooey bubble gums, cellophane from green bologna, rubbery blubbery macaroni, peanut butter, macaroni caked and dry, curdled milk and crusts of pie, molded melons, dried up custards, eggshells mixed with lemon custard, Cold French fries and rancid meat, yellow clumps of cream of wheat. At last the garbage reached so high that it finally touched the sky. And all the neighbors moved away, and none of her friends would come to play. And finally Sarah Cynthia Stout said, All right, I'll take the garbage out. But then, of course, it was too late. The garbage reached across the state, from New York to the Golden Gate. And there, in the garbage, she did hate. Poor Sarah met an awful fate that I cannot right now relate, because the hour is much too late. But children, remember Sarah Stout, and always take the garbage out. Look, can't get enough of it. Can't get enough Sarah Stout. Silver Stone. Oh, he's good too. All right. Hey, all right. All right. Nancy Quintley's back. Good to see you, Nancy Quintley. I missed you. Congratulations on getting a new spot. Don't forget to set up coffee. That's the big thing. I like the coffee and the coffee and the donuts. Get to meet the people. 
And it's a wonderful place that you've got a nice warm place to take care of folks when they need help. Makes me happy. Welcome back. Hey, any news on your buddy over there in, uh, in Poland? You guys getting married? What's the word? Uh-huh, I just got a coffee machine and an air pot. Boom. I don't know what an air pot is, but I'd try smoking it. I just don't know how to make coffee. That's all right. The secret uh, for the big ones is uh, there's a little dish on the inside, right? You fill it up with water, say 25, 30 cups, and then you take that little dish and you put an appropriate amount of coffee on the dish, and then you just plug it in and let it run, and the rest of it takes care of itself. Then uh, there's a little nozzle on the bottom. You put your cup under the nozzle, very important, and then uh, when the cough is full, you turn it off. You got this. Keeps coffee warm, I think. And then you hit the tap and it dispenses the coffee. Boom! Boom! That's what I was talking about. Love you this knows what I'm talking about. So do you not drink coffee in your private life? Are you Mormon? Because that's cool. Takes all kinds. They gotta have Mormons up there. Or just don't like coffee. Maybe you got stomach digestion problems. Maybe you enjoy sleeping because you're fancy. I like coffee. I got four, five, six, seven cups of coffee a day sometimes. Not a Mormon, just don't like coffee. It tastes gross. Oh, it does taste gross, but I still like it. <laughs> Curing? No, no, I'm an American. I got a French press. <laughs> uh, Curing. Nah, Curing's too fancy for me. All them little cups, all that extra garbage, gotta be, I, I just like, you take the grounds and you put them in the water and you stir it up and boom, you're done. Fantastic. You can't go wrong with a French press. I wish they had an American press, but it has not been invented, so I am forced to use an inferior product. You have both? Nice Keurig and a French press. Man, you must be up late. That sounds like my kind of party. You know, I just found out about Irish coffee about three months ago. Can you believe that? I went my entire life, something like 40, 50 years, never had whiskey in my coffee before. It's better. The whiskey's better and the coffee's better. You talk about tasting horrible, my word. Worth it. Mm. I wish I had a way to make the cup disappear when I drank the cup, but do you like the attention to detail? Yeah, French presses are great. Let's spin the wheel. Bailey's is an ice cream room, I'll look that up. Sometimes I'll have Kahlua, cause you know, Hawaii is part of America and that counts. Let's spin the wheel. You're lucky. Come on, something good. Give me something good. Riddles. All right, then. Time for another vague riddle. Let's head on down. Talk show disc. All right, take out the flag. Bring in the riddles. All right. Did I say S and M riddles? No, oh, Bam riddles. I don't have my glasses on. It says Bam riddles. S and M riddles are more complicated. All right, then. Ahem. <clears throat> nope. Nope. Ah. What goes up that never goes down? What goes up that never goes down? I feel like there are going to be a lot of right answers. I am off my rocker today. What are you talking about? I'm killing it. This is the best stream I ever had. Please. I'm having fun. Bam riddles. All right. Let's see what your answers are. Oh, I see a thinky face. You know, that's the very first time I have ever seen uh, that, that, that emoji where it wasn't directly next to something stupid on the internet. Like, hey, do you think they're injecting people with bleach for fun? Or something that's like, hmm. Maybe they want us to get, yeah, you know what I mean? It's always some kind of weird uh, political conspiracy theory next to this thing. Hmm. So I'm happy to see it used for good. Hot air, good answer. Hot air goes up, eventually disperses, uh, comes down as the rain. Isn't that right, judges? Been told by the judges that's correct. So sorry, can't give you that one. Didn't say it was a bad thing. Answer spirit. <laughs> I am. I am. I'm off my rocker today. I'm going nuts. I'm having a good time. The correct answer, what goes up but never goes down, the answer they were looking for, your age. 
your age goes up, but never goes down. And ain't that the dang truth? Let's spin the wheel. <laughs> I love how supportive you are. Lies. Well, Flubulous, you can lie about your age, and then it stays the same. I think Jack Benny was four to six, forever 26. Good for you. I wouldn't want to be 26 again. I was never good at it. Shakespeare, come on now. That's three Shakespeare's in one stream. It's ridiculous. That's self-indulgent to even have one. Come on now, give me something new. Here we go, here we go. Feelings, oh boy, this is exciting. All right, we got a thing. I would like to talk about my feelings and our feelings. So I got a feeling set up. Uh, let's see, right now I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm very excited to have two people in the chat. That's really fun. You know what, we're talking about feelings? Close up. <laughs> uh, I'm really excited to have people in the chat. Feeling healthy. Uh, the weather's nice, it's beautiful outside. Uh, I got a show coming up tomorrow, but I'm not scared about it. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited because I'll get to see some of my friends and go do something fun. Well fed, had some pizza. The nephews and nieces are doing all right. I'm happy. I am happy right now. How do you like them apples? I don't spend much of my life being happy, but right now I'm feeling good and fulfilled. How are you feeling? What are you going through? I know some of you got some good news. I know some of you got some bad news. I know some of you think you're still 26. So I want to know what your delusions are so I can help. Let's take a look. Forever 26, it's a feelings type of time. Ain't that the truth? If you don't want to talk about your feelings, that's cool. Let's spend the week. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> Opening Pandora's box there, says Nonsequently, and I believe she's right. <laughs> Ooh, time for a movie. All right, let's see. I don't know if you saw, I don't know who saw this yet, but I got the stand-up comedy show I did last week. Yeah. Oh my God, we got a new hunter. We got a new follower, Star Hunter 198. Welcome, my friend. Welcome to the melting pot. Thanks for joining us. I'm glad you're here. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh, let me ask you, is that you, Orion? Star Hunter, we got uh, Rose Hunter and Star Hunter. I think that might be my boy, my nephew. <laughs> but I'll take it, 52 followers, USA, USA, USA. Hey, Butch, glad to see you, buddy. Is there anything you'd like to see? You get a request. My real story. Oh my God, Pixel Dragon's here too. Uh oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta tell you a bad news story. Uh oh, this is my real story. Hey, Butch. Glad to see you, Star. Thanks for joining. Let me see what's going on with my buddy Dragon. Okay. So I was like 15 years old back in 2017. Me and my actual mom went to the park one time. And I was having fun playing in the park. Let me get this over here so you can read it. And I saw thorns at the pedal, on the rose petals. I touch it and it hurts so bad that my finger was bleeding. And my next story is stitches. Oh man, that's never fun. I've had some major tear ups in my life. Had stitches here, here, the one right here. Uh, but yeah, roses, every rose has its thorn. And every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. That's just science. I'm so sorry to hear that you got hurt, buddy. I... Oh, thank you very much. That was my dog. That's, that's down there. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, Vladimir, and that's Estragon. Estragon of Vladimir, I call them DD and Go Go. Uh, they're good dogs. Uh, they keep me company. Oh man, we got the whole gang here. We got Nonsequently, we got Pixel Dragon, got Flubulous all at once. This is the greatest night of my life. I'm exaggerating, but it's the best stream ever. Hey man, we were just talking about feelings anyway, Dragon, so uh, I'm so sorry that, that several years ago you hurt yourself and you had to get stitches. Open the tuna can cut my thumb so bad I had to go to a hospital. Ooh, that sounds rough too. That sounds like trouble. Oh, I've had to do a few of those, but I never go to the hospital. I just sort of stitch it up with super glue and end up with a cool scar. You know, that's how I roll. So, wow. Wow, you gotta be careful with them tuna cans. Let's spin the wheel. Wait, hold on. Nah. 
Do I want to know what's worse than that? Yes, I do. You got cut by a glass. Oh no, were you in a bar fight? Never really liked tuna. I like tuna. You put a little mayonnaise in there, you're set to go. High protein, low in fat. Hey, bet you didn't know that. So how'd you get cut by a glass? Tell you a story about it. Well, let's go to the close-up since I'm listening. No, no, we'll leave, we'll leave this up so you can read it. He's going to tell me a story about what happened to him. It was nice. Appreciate you being willing to, to share. Looking forward to that story. It's about getting cut by a glass. I've been cut by a couple glasses too. Uh, one time I was stuck in a, a big uh, hotel. Uh, now it's office building. I was visiting my ex-wife, and uh, they're having a Christmas party, and we were just hanging out in her office. One thing led to another. Bunch of terrorists uh, took over the whole building. At least I thought they were terrorists. Turned out they were just trying to rob the place. Anywho, at one point a German fellow points the other German friends like Scheiße, the fish in the Scheiße, then he shot all the glass. Uh, uh, out of the office building, and I didn't have my shoes on because uh, I was making fists with my toes. So I ended up walking all over uh, the broken glass, tearing my feet up. Uh, it made it very, very hard to walk later and jump away from the helicopter. So we've all been there. What happened? Tell me the story. I was just, I was just passing the time. Nope, that was Die Hard. That wasn't me. That was Die. That was Bruce Willis in the movie Die Hard. I thought that was me. I get confused sometimes. So what happened to you, Pixel Dragon? Guess we'll never know. Let's spin the wheel. Oh, there it is. Oh, he's back. Okay, I was worried about you. I didn't know it was going to be one big long chunk. I thought you might have moved on. All right. He was 14 years old in a new apartment. He was making hot dogs for lunch. Last Tuesday in 2019. And as soon as I got the hot dogs out, First off, I take out the glass, and I got cut on my finger so bad, that was the worst thing I ever done in my life. Well, I'm so sorry to hear it, man. Blood is always scary to see. That's terrifying. I'm glad you're on the other side of that, buddy. Let's spend the week. Man, I hate getting cut. Thumb and finger are okay. <laughs> All right, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, uh, my thumb and finger are okay now. Now you guys might not even know why I'm laughing at that. But Have you guys heard any conspiracy theories? I haven't heard anything lately. I don't know what's going on. Now uh, what makes me laugh is he said my thumb and my finger are okay now. My thumb and my finger are okay now. That's why I was laughing, because in my head he was doing this to demonstrate the wellness of his thumb and his... <laughs> I heard that Disney is trying, they ran out of people that they could vilify. Like they can't have, like, uh, they can't have minority villains, they can't have white villains, can't have gay villains, can't have, like, monster villains. Can't have like, uh, remember that big uh, mermaid lady? Can't have her no more because of the mermaid lady groups. So they have decided to make movies like Encanto that have no villains at all. The only bad things are the evil forces coming at you and no villains left. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Can I tell you and the chat message for the stuff after conspiracy? Oh, hold on now, buddy. If it's very important, I'm coming back to just chat. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't realize how much you were going through. Why don't you tell me all about it right now? The chat message for those stuff after the conspiracy. Yeah, whatever's on your mind, buddy. Go ahead, put it up on the screen there. What's going on with you? How can I help? What you going through, pal? It's very important. I know that. What's going on? It's gotten weird now. 
We had a nice flow going. Tell you what, I'm going to play a commercial, and that'll give you time uh, to type your stuff. Here we go. Hi there. Say, would you like to learn how to make chain mail out of pop tops? Or how to make a deadly weapon out of your sock? Then join us each week on Bums Rush. I'm your host, Scrounge. And I'm host. And each week we discuss the items that are facing the free range American in today's economy. Like concrete related insomnia. Right. So tune in each week, Tuesdays at 4.30 a.m. right here on Cable Access 21. Don't miss it. Or you'll be bummed. Sucker punch a gay dude the other night? <laughs> that must have been Thursday. That sucker punch a gay guy night. Hey, but if it weren't for gays, how would we know how to dress? Or decorate our houses. Or how would we know how to perform fellatio? Yeah, is that a kind of ice cream? You know what? Even Dumbledore the Wizard was gay. And Elton John. And Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> All right, fine, fine. Yeah. I will stop sucker punching gays. Homosexuality. Homosexuality. Don't, I noticed. Thank you so much about that. Well, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back. So I was just killing time in the hopes that my buddy Pixel Greg and Hot Senpai would tell me his very important issue so that I could help out. Uh, but I don't believe he has. And now I feel a little bit bad. Uh, for one thing, uh, oh, oh, here it is. Here it is. Kids, here is the message. Do not cut yourself with a glass or get hurt by thorns. Be careful. You never know what's gonna to happen to you and God knows what happens in life. And we know we make mistakes sometimes and we gotta keep trying our best and follow your dreams and don't give up. And here is the new message. If you feel sad, lonely, heartbroken, just don't give up on your mind. And you don't wanna be just yourself. Be helpful and show us respect. Good advice. Show all your fellow man respect and hang in there. Things get tough. Things always get tough. You just gotta keep moving forward. Man, those that you love, those that surround you, those that need you, they'll keep pulling you forward. So I hope that you uh, keep making the progress you're trying to make, my friend. It sounds like you got a lot you're dealing with. Don't hurt yourself. Good advice all around. The world will hurt you bad enough on its own. <sighs> That's right. One foot in front of the other, no matter how wobbly. That's the secret to all of life. Hey, let's play a video game. You guys know how this works? This is a classic. I like playing this one. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Plamphen and Pafkin and Pafkaifen Penfakin Faknipayan I like to hydrate myself. <laughs> oh, there it is. Good one. Knife. Uh, Pike's a word. There you go. Getting closer. 
You and me, we can do this, Flubulous. Pen, it's good, but you gotta have at least four uh, letters for it to count. That was a very good guess, Star Hunter. Four letters to count. Can, oh, fink, that's a word. <laughs> no, you gotta have no, oh, there it is. Fine, well done. Fink, oh, that's a good one. Oh, I already did fink, never mind. And all those letters can be worded in one single word, but I don't know what it is for the life of me. Fink and pen. Pen thinning king. Fine pen. Fine. Uh, pine. That's a kind of tree. There you go. <laughs> Getting closer. <coughs> Nine. That's a number after eight. I may be telling you stuff you already know. I'm not supposed to do that. Ooh, keep. That's a good one. Keep. Feet, 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 think. Oh, we're almost there. Come on. Two more. Just two more points. Pies, pine, fine, kind. <laughs> I didn't know that was a word. Let's keep it going. What you say? Got to the second level. Here we go. <laughs> I'm feeling great. How about you? There, good green, dear, gade, grade, grug, drag, green, gear. Read. Read. Hey, that's a word. That's not how you spell it, though. Read. Oh, greed. That's an even better word. Good for you. Oh, greedy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're killing it. You're doing so good, Flubulous. There, Star Hunter. Read. Good. I should have given it to you. Oh, I, somebody already got Read. Sorry, Star Hunter. Keep trying, buddy. You're close. Add. Good one. One who dies. Wait again there, Flubulous. Oh my God. Hold on. Oh, I didn't realize there was that much. Oh man, hold on there, buddy. Uh, I don't need, wait, we, we're gonna, at the end of this round, we're gonna read that whole thing. My buddy Pixel Dragon Hot Senpai has important words he has passed on to us. And I will share them with you after this game. Whoop, we made it again. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to read it. Hot pencil, pixel dragon, hot senpai. Feel free to type in a four letter word you see there while we wait. Gyre. Ooh, gyre, that's a good one. I don't know if that's a real word or not or just one they use in that. All right, let's go back to the just chat. <laughs> Probably not good. You know. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, it was exciting. You know, my buddy Pixel Dragon Hot Senpai wants you to know. Listen to your parents at all times. And be helpful. And help out with your parents at the store or chores. Learn in school. Ignore the bully people and don't stand up and join the evil people who bullied you. And here is the true message about life. If you lie, your parents won't believe you every time. You lie, all the fans will say mean things to you. You lie all the time and give your parents good advice. And we love you and your viewers. 
That's very sweet. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Let's uh, <laughs> let's finish up the game. Round three. Higgy twin. Higgy twin. Oh, you gotta wait till the lock is done. You can only do one word per unlocking thing on the on the thing there. See that over there to the locks right there on this line. There you go. You got it. Twig thing. Twig. 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 Hing. Somebody did thing already, right? All right. Well, withing, withing, withing. That sounds like a thing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it counts. Withing, U-S-A, U-S-A. Wing is good. Way to get in there, buddy. Oh, one more. Come on, one more and we can do it again. Come on, team, don't give up. Get. Quick, get in there. Oh, somebody did a hint. U.S.A. U.S.A. Way to go, Star Hunter. You saved the day. That means we won. <laughs> well done, buddy. All right. Nice work, team. Let's go to the next round. This is the best I've ever done. It's level four. I'm so excited. I hear eventually there's like extra challenges and stuff. I can't wait to find out. One star. Who are you to judge me? All right, here we go. We got this, USA. Katoyer. Cry over. Oh, that's a good one. Trort. Trorcree. Tory, I believe, is a kind of political. No, all right. No, I could have sworn Tory was a thing. How about Terry, like cloth? Ha <laughs> ha, I got one. Crowdy. Crayoron. Try and okay. Come on, help us out, folks. Butch is coming up short. I need you. We're never gonna get to level five this way. I knew you could do it. Way to go. Coyer, I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's not even up there. We don't have a P. That's a good guess. Corey, Tory. Sorry. I can't find any more words. Flubulous hell. Tort. There you go. Right. Gory. Gorory. Torsory. Good for you, Flubulous. You more than carried your weight that round. Good for you. Don't take this the wrong way. This isn't your fault. You nailed it. You held up your end. Aww. All right, time for one last spin of the wheel. Yeah, fun tonight. This is a good stream. Thanks for getting involved. Appreciate you, Flubulous. One last spin of the wheel. Sad face. Oh. Yeah, we did our best. That's all you can hope for. Had a little fun together. Shakespeare again. That's four Shakespeare's in one round. Forget it.
Did you get <laughs> all right, one last round. Oh. Oh, what the heck? Shakespeare coming up a lot this week. You want some Shakespeare? I'll do the Shakespeare. I love Shakespeare, God knows. All right, let's go to the Shakespeare. The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath. It is twice blessed. It blesseth him that gives and him that takes. Tis mightiest in the mightiest. It becomes the throned monarch better than his crown. His scepter shows the force of temporal power, the attribute to awe and majesty wherein doth sit the dread and fear of kings. But mercy is above this scepter's sway. It is enthroned in the hearts of kings. It is an attribute to God himself. And earthly power doth then show likest gods when mercy seasons justice. Therefore, Jew, though justice be thy plea, consider this, that in the course of justice none of us should see salvation. We do pray for mercy, and that same prayer doth teach us all to render the deeds of mercy. I have spoke thus much to mitigate the justice of thy plea, which if thou follow, this strict court of Venice must needs give sentence against the merchant there. There you go. The quality of mercy is not strained. Oh, look, you have the coolest thing. Look at all them cool things you had all over the screen. That's awesome. And then, a game. All right, then, one more. We'll run along. <laughs> but first, Ulu. All right, let's do it. One more try, then we'll wrap it up. <laughs> we can do it, chat. Come on, melting pot. Let's show them how it's done. We're gonna make this show run long. Good one. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Get one. Amuses, Miles Boosh. Musaza, Musabu, Blue Musabu, Mazum, Dazumism. Oh, too fast for you, Star Hunter. She got it first. <laughs> yeah, the race is on. Oh, that's a good one. Buses. Yeah, buses. <laughs> I got one. Three more points and we get to move to level two. We're already running into overtime. Smoo, Sue, Sue's. Yeah. USA, USA, USA. I knew we could do it, folks. Level 41 right there. Anything else is just gravy. Go ahead and pour it on top if you like, but the round is one. Imbues, umba, samba. Wish I could program this not to welcome stream labs. Hey, Rose Hunter's back. Missed you, Rose Hunter. Good job, messes on there. Oh man, this is the best stream ever. Everybody's here. This is great. All right, we're in the round two. You know what that means? <laughs> Let's do it again. Here we go. Level two. Good luck, melting pot. Uxbergs. 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 Scru oh, scrubs. I don't want no scrubs. Scrub is a guy can't get no love from me. Hanging out the passenger side of the best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. <laughs> Cuz, <laughs> you would get that one, Star Hunter. 
And every now and then I hear Star Hunter playing video games. That boy cusses like a sailor on leave. He's crazy. Making up new words I never even heard of. Let's see, scrub, scrub, brub, rush, crubble. Cubs, like more than one cub. Like if a bear had several cubs. Boom, USA. Crubs, crub, crab, cubs, cubs, crub. Right, I was thinking crub. Crub seemed like a word to me too. It's not though. Subs, good. <laughs> Busk, busk, bus. Ooh, two S's. I didn't even know that was a thing. Good for you, boy. Scub, rubs. We already got rubs. Uh, bucks, right? Like the Buccaneers? Oh, come on now. Ruckus, rusk. Ruck, Russ. Russ is a guy, right? Still, we made it. We're going around three. Way to go. Way to go, Melton Pot, USA. USA. <laughs> Flubulous gets it. Can I get a woo? And I done got it. Thank you very much. Woo is the alternate pronunciation. I don't know which part of the country you're from. In the Carolinas, it's woo. Yeah. Look at it. Where I got ourselves a hat banana. And a dancing broccoli butt. Everybody enjoys a dancing broccoli butt. Let's go to round three. See if we can earn more dancing broccoli butts. Here we go. Olamide. Land. That's a word for sure. Lando, Mallard, Madeline, Madeline, Maudlin, Model, Vanillin, Maddle, Man, Lemon, 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 Molin, Molan. Like sometimes, like the, the first settlers came over and they're like, oh, this place is nice, we need more land. Boom, that's all the let. Oh, all right. Uh, Don Damo. Dingo. Oh, sure, you can play. Come on in there. Get over behind my shoulder there. You can say whatever you want. Look, everybody, it's cheese and crackers. Nomad, that's a good one. Who got Nomad? No man. What? They didn't give you that? No man's awesome. No man. Oh, you did give it to you. Good. All right. I'm not mad. You mad? What is no man? I'm no mad. No mad is someone who moves around a whole lot, never stays in one spot. Oldman, very nice. Very talented. Don't you like Gary Oldman? What? You ever see that movie, The Professional? Oh, he's good. He's very good. Uh, let's see, mold, mold, <laughs> nold, molin. Ah, oh, that's it, folks. Ah, well, you got anything to say? It's about time wow. to say good night. Well, let's say good night. Thank you so much for participating tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I had such a good time hanging out with you. Uh, that yeah, was a good round. We'll do better next time. We just need more practice. That's the secret of success with everything. But I thank you very much for playing. Hope you had a few laughs. Hey, can I uh, say something? Go ahead. What do you want to say to the folks at home? I wish I had feet. Louder. I wish I had feet. I wish you had feet, too. We're going to have a marathon. Later on, we're going to get money for just to have the feet for the eagle. Now, thank you so much for the all caps cap uh, compliment. I appreciate that very much. Uh, but I, this is the best stream I ever had, and it's only because you came in here with my other buddies. Thanks so much for participating. I think it's the best numbers we ever had. Definitely the most fun I ever had. 
Hope to see you again on Sunday. I think uh, my nephew John is doing a no makeup uh, with his real face show on Sundays now. Apparently his uh, streaming thing broke, so he's just being himself. So check that out, Sundays at 11 a.m. Then I'll be back here every Wednesday at 7.30. Uh, thank you so much for being part of the show. I'd like to close off with a little song. I'm just an old chunk of coal. Sing along if you know the words, Eagle. And I'm going to be a diamond someday. I'm going to grow and glow till I'm so blue. Perfect. I'm going to put a smile on everybody's face. I'm going to kneel and pray every day. Lest I should become vain along the way. I'm just an old chunk of coal now, Lord. But I'm going to be a diamond someday. I'm going to learn the right words to talk. I'm going to search and find a better way to walk. I'm going to spit and polish my old rough-edged self till I get rid of every single flaw. I'm going to be the world's best friend. I'm going to go around shaking everybody's hand. I'm going to be the cotton-picking rage of the age. I'm going to be a diamond someday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. I'll try to check out your stream this week, Flubulous. Appreciate you being here. Thanks for being part of the show. And remember, the only way to save this country is for all of us to love one another, no matter what. So uh, take care of yourself. Be more American, America. Good night.